By the end of the video, I'm gonna get this looking like this. Now, my first attempt though, I, I went out and I just went gung-ho and I took a bunch of measurements and I came up with And I came up with this. Yeah, not my proudest build. But that's okay. What the? Why? 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 I did end up uh, having to cut a small notch in order to get there's a bolt back here. So I have five good mount holes and six if I need it. Now this, all this empty space back here is gonna be wasted if we put an iPad just in the front because the iPad's like, or the tablet I guess is like this big. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a cubby back here. So I'm just gonna take some measurements to see how big of a cubby I can get back there. Oh, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't part of the plan. No, I want to just, oh. It does not fit, but the climate controls, they do fit. And there'd be lots of room to plug them in too, so I think climate controls will go on top. One wire, one wire. Wow!
one down. A lot more to go. So finally, after many prototypes and driving like this for way too long, I think I got it. My God, the man's a genius. Just got the measurement tools done. Gonna test the fit and see how it works. Not bad for version one of the measurement tool. Oh. Finally got the measurements dialed in, so now I need to figure out how to build the faceplate. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna make this front one, I'm gonna actually make a clip to the black backing here, and then replace the sides of the, the part that holds the tablet with the faceplate. So that's what I'm thinking, and I don't know if it'll work, but I kinda, to save on materials and complexity, I'm thinking I'll just build the faceplate into the part that actually holds the tablet, and then I have the backing just to secure everything down so it doesn't fall out. Now, on the radio, uh, this part here, I'm thinking I'm just gonna put two clips on either side of the radio mounts on each side, and then um, the back, right in the climate controls, there's a little notch here, so I think I'm gonna put a clip in there as well, and that should really be enough to hold it. I mean, I'm not looking for something that's gonna be anti, like I want to be able to remove it. So I don't need something that's like, it just needs to stay, you know? It doesn't need to pop out again, right? And so the other thing too, my magnetic charger came in. So this charging cable, the end pops off. So you can just stick it in the tablet and then it'll automatically, wait, maybe if I keep it further away. So it'll automatically connect to the tablet. And so I wanna be able to have this cause this also doubles as a data cable. So I can plug it straight into my radio or you can plug it into a 12 volt to charge it. So I wanna have this guy 
there was a hole for it, but it's not quite working with the <laughs> with the way the faceplate is. But I want to have it in the side here, so when you slide the tablet in, it'll slide right in and just suck it in. So. bottom piece goes on so nice. Just snaps right in. The vent plug is getting in the way of the 12 volt. Why? So I got the new tablet. So I got the new faceplate design done. It looks way better than the old one here. And yeah, I like it more. So this one here is indented. Um, yeah, and I just, it looks so much better in black than that candy orange. But what I need to do now is I need to get the tablet to sit in here nice and snug. So I'm gonna be putting some of this foam inside of the tablet holder here and then I'm also going to be bolting it all together so that's not in 50 pieces. Well, three, but 50. So with my new uh, dash design, like my faceplate design, I don't have room for these guys. So what I want to do is I want to run the wire right through into the center console. I want to leave this one that stows the plug in case I want to run uh, power to the iPad directly. If I want to stop using the USB that's connected to the back of the deck. So I'm going to run these wires. I'm going to put two posts right here. And I'm going to run a wire down behind this or alongside of it, depending how it's done. Uh, underneath the cup holders and right into the glove compartment. Where I'm going to drill two holes, bang, bang, and have two outlets. Whoa! I got one hole drilled. Um, there's two plastics, and this stuff is so hard. I drilled the hole, and all I'm going to do is one, because... Dun, 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 dun. What? Wow! I 3D printed a little thing that I can screw into uh, to put the posts on for this to make it easier. So now I'm just going to crimp these guys in. So, but yeah, and then it runs right into here. I'm thinking I maybe should put a cap on that, like 3D print a cover. Um, for now, it's fine but it just seems a little exposed, especially, I don't know if I got on camera, but she sparked me pretty good there. Yeah. Now it's time to install the final version. Yeah, so this is the setup. Um, I will be coming out with a different version where this is like recessed, so it's not actually sticking out so far. Uh, the rim on this is a lot thinner and it's actually all one piece instead of multiple pieces up top, so it's gonna be pretty cool. That's going to hopefully come out in a few weeks. And that's how you can take it out. Okay, Google. What? We'll just use the button. 
Directions to Walmart. There we go. What is the weather? It's minus 11 degrees and mostly sunny in Sherwood Park. Cool. So we can also go to YouTube Music, but there's this thing called copyright. So instead, YouTube Studio Music. Yeah, a lot of cool features you can browse the internet, but this thing's slow, like has nothing to do with the internet connection. It's honestly just the tablet. It's terrible. But yeah, so you're able to go ahead. Breathe. Search YouTube for Lucas Build Stuff. even come up when you search Lucas build stuff. That's not very good, eh? Wow! Yeah. Give it a C instead of a K. There we go. February 2020, and I've been wanting to use it, but I made a promise you can open up the camera if you want. It's a camera within the camera. 